Hi, my name is Brian Warner and welcome to the Palmer Divide Observatory. And it's named for that reason because we're on the Palmer Divide just north of Colorado Springs, Colorado and a little bit south of Denver. I started this observatory, which you'll see in just a moment, uh, back in 1999 when we moved here and have been doing asteroid light curves at this facility for about 10 years now. Here's the, uh, the observatory. Two buildings, uh, pretty much look like garden sheds, but the roofs come off, which always intrigues the neighbors when I tell them about it. I built these myself, and if you look at them carefully, you'll see that I should not be employed as a carpenter. Uh, I took a design that lots of people have used over the years. It's essentially just your basic garden shed, but the roof comes off. It has always been my intent to be a funded researcher. <laughs> it just took longer than I hoped. Um, going up to funded research, it was a matter of, I was doing this work uh, because I wanted to. It was uh, amateur is love of the, of the, of the, the topic of the sport. And, uh, but it started to become an avocation because it became somewhat of an obsession for me to just do what I wanted to do all this time, but uh, never got the formal education to do. And eventually that work was recognized by different folks in the professional community and, and formed collaborations. And then uh, one of those professionals, Alan Harris, took pity on me and decided that I should get paid for what I was doing. And so here I am. Right now I'm talking to the computer out there via this uh, thing. And the program itself has to establish a communications link between it and the, the computer that's built into the telescope. They are ready to go. All I have to do is hit the go to button. Okay, let's send them to where they need to go. My, my first little telescope was 55 bucks back in the 60s, which of course nowadays, who knows how that translates, but it, it's quite a bit. To do this kind of work today, you don't need all of this massive equipment. Um, you, can, you can do great work with just an 8-inch telescope. Let's say you can get that used for around two to 2,500, and maybe even that's high. So you throw in the computer you probably already have, and for maybe 3500 4000 which is not cheap obviously but not that much you can do serious research in astronomy um, obviously bigger telescopes you can do more uh, fancier cameras you can do more but the idea is that you can contribute with in relative terms a minimum budget <laughs> 